other than doing this. My Sorrel, I'm going to give you another tip for our countdown to alternate holiday fitness blog. One of the main reasons why people fail with their fitness and exercise program is the lack of consistency. Lack of consistency defeats any type of program because what happens is there's different strict stages when it comes to improving your health and fitness goals. How many of you know individuals, maybe even yourself, that start an exercise program in January of a new year, you have your New Year's resolution, and you end up working out so hard, you see a lot of results the first month, you go all out, you go almost every day, one to two hours, you're feeling good, but there comes a time when around maybe February, March, March, you end up hitting a wall. A wall meaning you don't feel like exercising, you're burnt out, you, or maybe you're, you injure yourself, you pull a muscle, because you're working out so hard, you have all this energy and stamina, then you hurt yourself, or you just hit a wall. And I've known so many individuals that have gone through that, because what happens is, they want the results so quickly, and they get it, and they want to get it so fast that they do everything they can to work out hard, but what they're not doing is working out smart. And what I want people to know about this blog is these next three and a half months, yes, we want you to see results. Yes, we want you to lose weight. Yes, we want your inches to come down. Yes, we want you to feel healthier and sexier. But at the same time, the real message of this program is to get you to adopt fitness, exercise, healthy nutrition as part of your life. And the best way to do that is to, yes, you have to train hard, but you have to be smart about it too, and just stay consistent. That is the key. So you don't have to work out five, six, seven days a week. You don't. Let's look at it as, hey, you know what? Let me do my daily activities which doesn't take too long, but if you're going to work out on your own, just go three or four days. Three or four days a week, take a couple days off, you don't need to go to the gym, just do your daily activities, the stretching, the meditating, physical activity could, could mean walking or doing housework, eating your fruits and vegetables, drinking your water, those things you have to do. But as far as a regimen, a workout regimen, you don't have to do that every day. Because what happens is, you do that every day, you're going to get burnt out. Everyone goes through challenges. Everyone ends up having limitations. I have clients all the time that come in, maybe the first time, and they've had an injury. They've had some kind of limitations. And so we have to work around that so that it becomes a part of their life, and it's not a quick fix. Not a quick fix. Quick fixes never become a part of your life. Never. I don't care if you lose 60, 70 pounds in three months because you're working out so hard, you're eating so healthy. At the end of the year, you're not going to be able to maintain that because your body just gets so burnt out, your body and mind. So what I want you, each of you, to focus on is just staying consistent through this time, but also carry it over till the end of the, till the following year, 2010. And so you have to stay consistent. You don't have to work out every day. Working out three to four days a week, it's sufficient enough. And if you go through some challenges, and you will, that's just part of life. You might get really, really busy at work. You might, you know, my, my, unfortunately, my grandmother passed away last week. It was a very tough time in my, my life. I was very close with her. 
It was a tough time for my whole family. But at the same time, I took a little bit of time off, a couple of days, but I, was, I still went to work. I did what I needed to do as far as take care of my clients, take care of business. Those things happen. But at the same time, you cannot allow that to totally stop your progress. And so when you go through some challenges, take a step back, but still push through it, be smart about it, and just move forward. Just move forward, regardless of the limitations, the challenges that's ahead. Because guess what? You are going to go through that. Because that's, again, that's just life. And so you have to accept it, find a way to get out of it. Find a way to get out of it. So with exercise programs, this is the main tip is stay consistent with your workout. Say you've been working out for a month, you, have, you haven't lost a, a pound or you've lost a couple of pounds and you feel like you should have lost more because you're working out so hard, guess what? Just stay with it. Stay consistent with it. Because mentally you have to train your body that, hey, if I'm doing what I need to be doing on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and a monthly basis, you're going to get to your goals sooner than later. You just have to have that mentality. And you have to train that. You have to train your body and your mind to accept the fact that, hey, I'm going to go through a wall. I'm going to hit a wall sometime. But guess what? Once I do, I'm just going to keep moving forward. Okay, so stay consistent with your nutrition program, with your workout program, and this blog. I'm going to really, really do my best to gather up people from the community, gather up people from our, from our studio to give you the best tips possible. Because I want each of you to achieve your health and fitness goals. Maybe not by the end of the year, but someday you will. But if you start with our program and the, begin, the end of the year, those holiday parties, and you're looking better, you're feeling better, your clothes fitting be are fit, fitting better, guess what? You're in the right track. You're in the right track. So just keep at it. Stay consistent with everything. When you hit a wall, just push through it, okay? Take care, and we'll be back soon with more tips. Take care.